Here's five things that are definitely changing January the 1st, 2021 for Brits because of Brexit. Number one, European travel is going to be more difficult. Your passport uh, can must have at least another six months to run. So if your passport's running out, you need to get it renewed. You need to have a passport that's less than 10 years. Remember that you're going to be queuing. Okay, If you're going to be going to Europe, you're going to be in with other passports rather than having a European entry. Okay, number two, does your insurance cover you? So does your health insurance cover you? Does your life insurance cover you? Does your car insurance cover you? You need a permit, an international permit available for the post office, £5.50. Okay, does your insurance cover you is number two. It probably doesn't unless you've checked. So make sure that you check. It's definitely a change of rules for insurance driving, health insurance, car insurance from January 2021. Okay, number three, phone. It does roaming, uh, is roaming allowed for a start? Okay, well, it's probably allowed with your phone, but check it, but you won't be able to download data free of charge. So lots of UK contracts allow you to do that. Now that changes, 100% changes, January the 1st, 2021. Okay, next, expats. It's more difficult to become an expat. Immigration is going to be based on a point system if you're coming into the UK. So you've got to have a certain number of points to qualify to immigrate to the UK. Of course, if you want to go in the other direction, then it depends on the country that you're going to. European rules previously was freedom of movement, freedom of going to live in another country. That changes from January 2021. So it depends on the country. Just check it out. Next, uh, banking changes. So lots of banks have already changed banking accounts. Do you have a European account if you're a Brit, for example, living abroad? So for example, De Vere, we have our own Vault, our app only bank. Okay, it's a European license. So it covers us. We had to go the other way and make sure that we were covered in the UK, which we've done. But if you are going and living abroad and you've got a British bank account, will they still allow it? They still haven't done arranged or agreed rules on pensions. So again, that's still there, still possible that they'll do a deal on it. But 100% banking is going to change from January the 1st. Next, you're going to be last of all, going to be paying a bit more for European goods. So if you're buying a car, 20% more roughly. If you're buying other goods from Europe at the moment, you've got there's no taxes for goods coming either way. January 1st, whatever they agree, one way or the other, you're going to be paying a bit more for European goods. Okay, is it good for the UK? Is it good for Europe? Short term, it can't be. Longer term, okay, as I've said many times in my press releases and various commentary and videos, okay, we won't know for a long time. Why won't we know for a long time? Well, we won't know because hey, we'll see what happens with Europe. You know, if Europe starts to have its own problems, and of course you've got many countries, many different tax rates, and many different ways of looking at things. If Europe starts to fall apart, Britain may, Britain may be better to be outside. Short term, okay, there's going to be challenges. No question. Challenges for Europe, challenges for the UK. But okay, the decisions have been made, certainly at the levels we're talking about today. We know that certain things are definitely going to change. So just be aware. Keep up to date with the information. Uh, subscribe to my video channel. I'll put out information on a regular basis, particularly for British expats, so that you are up to date with all the rules. Please subscribe. Please like the video. And please share.